Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome I'm Libby I'm just about to start law school it's actually my first day today so I thought it would be a brilliant time to show you guys how I organise myself through law school I'm starting a new year so I'm going into the SQE which is basically preparing me to be a solicitor so it's the solicitor's qualifying examination I think and yes it's basically a year of law school I've already done my undergrad so I have been using Notion for a long time now and I have been preparing myself for law school using Notion and I have recently updated my template and every single time I post my to-do list on my Instagram or I show it on any of my YouTube videos everyone always wants to know what app I'm using, how I do it, if I can share my template. So yes, I'm gonna give you an overview of my entire notion today. I'm gonna to give you a tour, show you how I organize myself and hopefully it will be helpful for you guys if you're a law student or if you just want to organize yourself for school or in general life, I feel like we should cover everything today. So I'm so excited to be working with Notion today on this video to show you my entire notion setup. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so. If First of all, we have my dashboard, which is kind of new. I did this fairly recently. I actually used a template and then I ended up sort of adjusting it to how I wanted it to look. A great thing about Notion is that there are so many templates available. I think initially there can be like a lot of things to learn about how to use Notion, but templates make it so easy just to use immediately. That is what I've used for this and I will link the template that I used and then I think I should be able to create a template for my Notion. So that will all be in the description down below. I changed the cover to be some sort of greenery artwork just because I think that sort of like goes with the vibe of my desk and I thought that would look nice and then you can change these icons here I just did some stars because I thought that went nicely and then what I thought was really really cool was you can create widgets so I have a clock here and I also have a weather one here and you can fully customize them which I will show how I did that I did it on I used Indify to make these widgets and you can insert all of them into your notion pages so I think I've made that look really nice and then I've just got a little quote here because there was one in the template that I used and I changed it to success is the sum of small efforts repeated for when I'm feeling like I really don't want to do anything it's not necessarily like my favorite quote in the world I just liked how that looked so I put my own quote in there. I feel like that is a good little motivational push for when I'm not feeling like it. The template that I chose also came with this little widget with the plants and I don't know what else I would put there so we've left it there. I do think it might be slight overstimulation. Down here we have today's priorities which I haven't actually changed. I didn't do anything this weekend so I don't know, I might change this to, I might change this to the week's priority so I can have like it visible all the time um, because I think it might be a bit of a faff to change it daily but I've left it for today's priorities for now and I think what are my priorities for today? So I need to film this video. And these are like the things that I definitely want to do today. So I've recently watched Grace Beverly's video on like her new planner and stuff. So I'm trialing some new ways of like setting out my to-do list, setting out my priorities. So the top three things I need to do today is film my video, go to law school for the first time. I also need to email about my timetable. Here we have the all important to-do list, which I am trialing a new way of setting up as well. So, Grace said to do like quick ticks which is anything other than five minutes and then tasks which are like 30 minutes and projects which are longer. I'm not going to do projects because I don't think it's as relevant for me. So the quick tasks I need to email about my timetable. I have lots of pre-reading to do which I haven't done yet because I'm a very bad law student and my timetable got changed so I have loads of pre-reading to do for tomorrow. So I need to do the reading for class one and reading for class two and then film video, edit, reel, and then personal to-dos, I can't think of anything that I actually see, I need to do the big shower, so you can put that in. And yes, I like how you can toggle here. If I'm just focusing on uni work, I can sort of toggle away the personal to-do so I'm not thinking about them, and I can toggle away the quick tasks um, so I don't have to look at them. Um, but I can also have the to-do list completely open. Then we also have my weekly tasks, which is what I do at the beginning of every single week. I look at all of my readings that I have to do, all of the law school work that I have to do. I plan out content that I have to do and I always put them into my weekly to-do list, which if you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you know that I've always done this. I've always handwritten them, but I'm actually loving having them on my Notion. And then 
from this weekly to-do list, I can then see everything that I need to get done in the week or like a little bit longer. I have visibility of my task, which is really, really important for me not to feel overwhelmed and to be able to get through stuff. And then from these weekly tasks, that's how I then create my daily to-do list. And yes, that's how I basically organize myself with my weekly and daily to-do lists. And as I said, I'm sort of trialing this new way of doing it and hopefully it sticks. I have been quite enjoying it so far, um, but I like to keep it quite simple. So I might end up simplifying this a little bit more again but at the moment it's been working well for me but obviously once I go into law school I am so open to sort of adjusting it Notion makes it so easy to do that so down this side I created a little time blocking section I find time blocking really really useful to sort of help me stay on track to make me sort of work a bit more effectively because of like Parkinson's law if I know I only have an hour to do something and it should only take me an hour it means that I don't let the task expand to fill my whole day or my whole afternoon so I find time blocking really useful. I don't always do it, but if I'm feeling a little overwhelmed as well, I find time blocking really helpful because it just gives me a structure of like where to start, what I need to be doing, and I can just follow that and get work done. So this is from the last time that I was using it and I didn't do it in the morning, but I then did do it in the afternoon because I was feeling a little stressed and I just really needed to plan out everything that I needed to do that afternoon. And then down here we have an assignment and exam schedule, which I haven't used yet because I don't know what my assignment and exam schedules are yet, but I don't want to get rid of this. This was originally from the template um, and I don't want to get rid of it yet because I think it probably will be useful down the line. And then the other things I haven't shown you, the monthly goal here again I like to sort of set goals monthly and think about what I want a month to look like what a successful month will be and for me that will be staying on top of work um which it probably looks like I do all of the time but I think sometimes I feel like I'm sort of chasing my own tail so yes I'd like to actually stay on top of it and not be so last minute but I know that that is how I function usually um, but yes, find a new gym, which I actually have managed to do, and then explore the new area because I have only just moved up to London and I've literally spent like three days here and then I went home again. So I want to make an effort to sort of go for a little wander and just go and explore my area and also go and do some nice things in London to make the most of it. So something else that is great about Notion is it's really easy to link to other pages. So here I've linked to law school and I've linked to all of my courses here as well, which each have their own pages. And then I also have a little social media one so I can quickly navigate to my video ideas and also to my campaigns and like when they're due, if they've been and paid all of that sort of thing so let's navigate to law school so this is my law school page um we have been told about the learning structure so i have inserted this little screenshot here just to remind me of the learning structure of the SQE and then I have put some notes in here when I need to sort of like brain dump some bits down I would usually have sort of like handwritten them in one of my notebooks but I can now have them all in one place on my Notion so I can access it from my laptop from my phone and then I've also created a little weekly course schedule because this year my class is always the same so I have popped those in I actually think my timetable has changed but that is one of the things I need to check today. So yes, that is just my really simple law school page. So continuing on with the theme of law school, let's go to dispute resolution. We have a page for the course syllabus here, which I haven't properly filled out yet because I haven't properly started. We have a page for the grade trackers, which is just filled out from the template that I downloaded. And then we've got a page for exam prep, which again, I haven't started filling out yet. And then I know that we're doing different case studies in our workshop, so I've just quickly highlighted that here. And yes, I've got a little to-do list for this one as well. What is also great is here, I have linked the pre-reading. So when I go into my Notion, I can click on this link and it will take me straight to my pre-reading. If you type something and then highlight it, you can link it and copy and paste a link into here and then it will hyperlink the word. So again, really easy and really accessible to use. And I've also done the same for workshop prep. And then as an example of how I've been doing my notes for you guys, um, here I've made a table for each week of things that I'll be doing. And then I've started with these notes. So let's open this. For example, this is the module outline and workshop structure. You can highlight things. 
and then I've added in some screenshots and the educational aims and a table um, and you can really easily copy and paste from other documents into your Notion as well so I've actually just copied and pasted most of this and then this is the first sort of readings part that I did and what I love also is about these toggles your notes don't look so sort of long and overwhelming you can look at little bits at a time so what are civil proceedings and we can look down at this drop down menu so what I've done here for the high court I think this is knowledge will probably be tested on so for the Queen's Bench Division I've done a little toggle and I've done a list of everything that's in the Queen's Bench Division of the High Court and it's a really effective way to make notes which are usually not that helpful for sort of remembering things and active recall which is why I need to do this year for law school into something that's really useful for sort of exams and actually preparing yourself for exams when notes usually aren't. So that's a broad overview of how I'm using my Notion for law school and I will give you a quick overview of how I've also used it to plan holidays. So here in the Italy tab I did a little table so that I could cost everything out and see how much everything was costing us and what we had paid for and what we hadn't paid for, all of those sorts of things. And then I made a calendar where I put in our flights, where we were staying, all of those sorts of things as well to have a visual of it which I find really helped me with planning. And then in each of these little pages that I made for each location I put in recommendations as well. So again, when I was away, I had my Notion on my phone. So if we were like on the train between places, I just have a little scroll through the recommendations, make some bookings on the way. And I found that so helpful. And then as another example for my social media, I have a page for my video ideas. And in each little page, I have written some notes for the video. As another example, this is how I used to do my to-do list when I didn't have it on my dashboard I would have my weekly one here and then my daily one here and then quick ticks as well which was something I trialed since hearing Grace Beverly talk about it and then my schedule um but yes I have moved it onto my dashboard so guys that is everything that I think I want to show you on my notion it's not hugely complicated and again using templates can make you get a really beautiful notion setup without too much sort of know-how but yes I really hope that's been a little bit useful for you guys to see how I organize myself through law school how I've been making my notes on notion and all of those sorts of things and I will link my template and the template that I used down below for you guys as well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video.